Welcome YouTubers, it's Platt, and today I want to give you some sanitation tips to help you along your journey through home brewing. So let's go. First, I'd like to start off by discussing three basic terms we'll use in home brewing. Cleaning, sanitation, and sterilization. Now cleaning is pretty simple. It means we're going to wash away all visible dirt and stains. Sanitizing means we're going to reduce the level of harmful microorganisms to a safe level. Remember, we're dealing with yeast with the microorganism itself, and it doesn't need uh, any more competition. Lastly, sterilization. And that's the elimination of all harmful bacteria, microorganisms, viruses, but remember, we're brewing beer and not uh, doing heart surgery. And sterilization is hard to achieve without an autoclave. So we're going to focus on cleaning and sanitizing. First up, we have to clean. When cleaning home brewing equipment, you, these items need to be broke down to two categories. Dishwasher safe and non-dishwasher safe. Dishwasher safe items might be your brew pot or bottles. Non-dishwasher safe items might be plastic fermenters or siphoning tubes. Obviously, the dishwasher safe items make it pretty easy to just throw in there. But special items like brew kettles sometimes get stains, especially if you're using stainless or copper. So you can go to your grocery store and get special cleaners just for that. I do suggest using stainless or copper for your brew kettles. Non-dishwasher safe items can be washed in the sink using any generic brand name detergent. I do recommend you avoid scented detergent as sometimes it will affect the flavor of your beer. If you live near a brew shop or want to shop online, there's a variety of beer cleansing products available to you. Now that we've had our items cleaned, we can sanitize. Now that we're done cleaning, it's time to sanitize. I want to give you a few options on products to use for sanitization. First we have bleach. You want to check the back of the label to make sure the proper dilution rate. If you work with bleach, you want to make sure to thoroughly rinse. Bleach residue could screw up a batch and possibly make you sick. Iodine is also an option, but I don't like to use iodine because iodine can stain things like plastic fermenters. If you live near a home brew shop, they sell a variety of products, and a lot of them, like this Star Sand, are non rinse, which makes your life a little bit easier. If you happen to go the beer kit route, several of them, like Mr. Beer, will put in a packet of non rinse sanitizer. Now, if you want to get real technical, there's plenty online on the technicalities of all these uh, different sanitizers. In a lot of the great homebrew books, including How to Brew by John Palmer, there's entire sections on sanitation and the chemistry behind it. But for now, we'll leave it fairly simple. After you decide the type of sanitizer you use, you'll have to set up a sanitation routine. One of the things I like to do is take my fermenter tank that I have to sanitize anyway and fill it with sanitizer before I start brewing and putting in all my equipment things like airlocks in there. If however you're using a classic carboy with a narrow top or doing a smaller batch like a gallon you could simply use one of these plastic trays right here to fill and all your equipment will fit in quite easily. Now that we're done sanitizing we can start to brew. To wrap up Let's go over the three key terms again. Clean, sanitize, and sterilize. Remember, cleaning and sanitizing is what we're worried about here. We're not doing heart surgery, so sterilization is out. But cleaning and sanitizing are very important to home brewers because we want the microorganism level low enough that it not interfere with our favorite microorganism, yeast. We also talked about the different cleaning products we use to clean and sanitize our home brew equipment. As I said earlier, if you want to get a little more in depth in the topic, feel free to check into any homebrew book. Most of them have an entire chapter on the topic. Or you can go online and research the chemistry and the background of it more. Now, to put my two cents into this, I'll say that sanitization is very important because you want to produce the best quality homebrew you can. But remember, they've been doing this for thousands of years. And most of that time, they did not know what a microorganism was, or what sanitation was, and they still made great brew. 
So don't let it ruin your day. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please subscribe down below. And until next time, bye-bye.